I'm CBS 13's Madison Keevy here in Yolo County. I've just come out of the Yolo County Courthouse where we've seen the suspected Davis serial killer, 21 year old Carlos Dominguez in court for the very first time. Now, just out of this courtroom, after we heard those charges be read, his bail was set at no bail. Uh, we talked to individuals who were there in support of Dominguez. They did not identify themselves as family members. We asked if they had a message to share with the public about this 21 year old ex Davis student, and they didn't give us any comment. They said no comment at this time. One of them even told us he didn't know Carlos, but they were sitting there in the second row of the courtroom. Now something interesting that came out of this that was a little more unexpected before things began. The judge in this in Department one here in Yolo County did disclose that he lives very close to the scenes of one of these crimes and that a few minutes, maybe 40 minutes before one of those crimes, his wife was out on a walk and saw a suspect description that matched what police had put out and she did call Davis PD on that. He said he never heard back on the results of that tip, but he wanted to disclose that to the court. This is Yolo County Davis, not too far from where we're at here in Woodland. But the only thing that we heard from the suspected serial killer Dominguez today was a couple of yeses. One saying yes, that he understood what the judge was telling him and one saying yes to his name being Carlos Dominguez. A, a short proceeding, this arraignment as arraignments typically go are not typically all that long. There was a little bit of back and forth about that bail. Of course, uh, Dominguez's public defender said he wanted that bail set at four million. A judge disagreed because he said based on the facts that have been presented in this case that Dominguez is a risk to the public and no amount of money could protect the public. So then that informed that decision for no bail. We're going to be getting answers and continuing to dig into what these charges mean the next time he'll be in court and a little bit more from those interactions with the individuals that knew him.